name is Deborah and I'm an occupational therapist and I'm going to be talking about assessing a person to ensure that the configurable comfort is the right size for them. Ideally what we would like is a person to be able to sit with their feet firmly on the ground, bring their bottom all the way back so that their back is well supported at the back of the chair. This gives them a really good upright positioning but it also allows them to sit comfortably without having to shuffle back which increases risk of shear and friction and without having to just prop themselves on the seat and then flop back which puts a huge amount of pressure on the sacrum and also risks contractures and discomfort. In order to do that we need to take three key measurements. Ideally you want to sit somebody on a dining chair which is much more accessible and take the seat depth, the seat width and the seat height. Now I always measure the seat depth first as I find this is the most crucial measurement in, in ensuring that the chair is the right size. So I would measure from the back of the knee to the back of the spine for my seat depth. I would also then measure the seat height. That's the second most important measurement. I would go from the back of the knee all the way down to the ground taking into consideration the footwear that the person will be wearing on a regular basis when using the chair. The last measurement I take is the seat width. I measure from one hip to the other and I ensure that my tape measure is straight. If the tape measure is rounded around the hips, it will give me a false measurement. Whatever those measurements are, I would then set up the chair according to those measurements. And we can adjust the seat depth, the seat height and the width of the Configura Comfort, which comes in three different sizes. I'm now going to demonstrate how you can adjust the seat depth, the seat height and the seat width. So first of all, the seat depth. We can reposition the backrest within two positions at 18 inches or 20 inches. What you would do is turn the chair around lift the back flap and then reposition into another bracket. Once you have changed the position of the chair to the depth that you require, you just bring the flap back and Velcro into place. To adjust the seat height by either one inch or two inches, you would flip the chair on its side and insert height adjustment kit. This is for the front and this is for the back of the chair to increase the height. To adjust the height, we insert this piece over here and we would screw that into place and this one goes in over there. Unfortunately, when you raise the chair, you do actually take the chair off the casters, but it raises the height of the chair according to the person's knees. Once you have adapted the seat height, it's very important that you also adapt the length of the leg rest so that it gives the appropriate level of support behind the person's leg. How we do that is we raise the, back, the leg rest function using the remote, then come down and we unvelcro over here. We undo that and we have these little screws that we undo. If I have raised the chair by one inch, I will bring this down by one hole, which is the equivalent of an inch, which then increases the length of my leg rest to provide support for the person. We would then tighten this back up. and replace the Velcro over the top there. You would then bring the leg rest down and you have now accommodated the seat height for the person and the appropriate leg rest length as well. The actual seat width cannot be adjusted. However, what we can do is switch the armrests over to ensure that this overhang is on the inside. That brings the armrest that little bit nearer to provide more support when pushing up for the transfer. To do that, we undo the screw at the back, we push the armrest back, and we lift it out of place. Do the same on the other side, and put them into the opposite side. Bring that forward there. You would then tie up the screws at the back, bring this forward, 
And then you can see that the overhang is on the inside, bringing the armrest that little bit closer. That's how we can adapt the height, the depth, and the width of the chair. Thank you.